Hey you guys, good morning. Um, I got a donation last week and I missed it. It was for, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right. Is it Kermit Apio turning 50? Let's see what we get. So thank you for your donation. Late 40s, I am uh, 52. <laughs> I like saying late 40s. You know, it sounds like there's still hopes and dreams. So. Maybe. I thought it'd be a bigger deal turning 50. You're getting a new zero. It was big at 30. It was big at 40. You know what? It's not at 50. You don't wake up on your 50th birthday. Oh, yay. Ooh, this bump is new. Awesome. I look like a climbing wall. Yay, life. Oh, my God. That's terrible. You're happy to get to a birthday, but really. Wait. You know what I get a lot of is bruises because I'm iron deficient and playing with my kids or just just walk around the house. We have so much stuff. You guys know that. And I get so sad because I'm like, why do I have all these bruises everywhere? But, you know, it could be worse. I could have bumps. I don't want that. No. After a half century, all it means is, hey, you've been on the planet kind of a long time. <laughs> I was thinking about this. I was in school so long ago, I remember making ashtrays in art class. Remember that, anybody? There you go. That's right. Yes. Yeah. That's right, youngsters. That's what we did. We made ashtrays. I'm trying to think of what my kids make. My kids make candles and, well, not real candles, but like jars and then they put a fake candle inside of it I want to say it looks like an ashtray I think that's because that's the easiest thing they can't so it's like a plate but I mean you could pretty much I mean I think ashtray is the go-to anyway in school <laughs> so. wow could you imagine suggesting that little idea today <laughs> no. That teacher would be on the ground with a PTA mom's foot right on his head. <laughs> We're on lockdown. We are on lockdown. Sarah, get my iPad. We need to make a Facebook group now. We made ashtrays in school. You had to use your nine-year-old finger to make a cigarette wedge. Remember that? <laughs> wow. I'm going to put glitter on it. We made addiction cute. That was our assignment. All right, kids, get your welder's mask. We're making shot glasses for mommy. Let's do this. And if you haven't finished your macaroni bongs, get them done. Let's go. It's almost Christmas time in the 70s, and that's how we roll. I like him. I like him. The kids make, still make macaroni bongs. Do your kids make macaroni stuff? They make everything. Well, they used to. Now that's, you know, now that they're in older grades, they're now, but yeah, kindergarten, first grade for sure. Anytime someone says 50 is old, you know what I do? I'll tell you what I do. I take my Walkman out of my members only jacket and I don't listen to them. That's what I do. <laughs> Once again, for those of you under 40, the Walkman was a musical listening to them. <laughs> Kind of like an iPod, only steam powered, really. Okay. But this big had a butter churn crank sticking out of it. He's, he's ridiculous. Uh, remember cassettes? Oh, that was fun. Just remember so trying to find a song on a cassette? Bring a book and a lunch. That's an afternoon. Remember that? <laughs> Stop, rewind. <laughs> Stop, Wait. play. That's not it. <laughs> Stop, rewind. Um, you know, you guys know how I always go to like Nicole's Emporium here in Hanford where she sells like all this antique stuff. Well, she's got tons of albums and now she's selling cassettes and stuff and I was asking her about it and she's like, you'll never believe like cassettes are coming back and well, albums have always been around, but I was just like, really? Cassettes? And she was telling me VHS, which is, you know, video and... She was like CDs and stuff. So people still want 
that kind of media. So, I mean, people want what they want. Rewind. Oh, it's on the other side. Stop, eject, turn over, close. I should shave again. Remember trying to reel up the beginning part? Oh, okay. Got the pinky in there. He's talking about rewinding cassettes. I've seen my grandpa, he would get um, like a pencil and just, I don't know, just like uh, do it that way. If, cause like, we were really destructive kids, you know, being, we were on the wrong side of town, so we always did dumb, stupid things, but my grandpa did not care. He was like, whatever. He showed us that if we could destroy it, he could possibly fix it or we would fix it ourselves so if we p would pull out whatever cassette stuff he would just show us that we could fix it so we kind of like doing that I mean that's probably why I have so much stuff because I just like reusing things I anyway so members only is a brand of clothing that became popular in the 80s with its line of jackets the brand was created in 75 introduced to American markets in the 80s by a Europe craft imports. Members only racer jackets were distinguished by their narrow epaulets and collar strap and their knitted trim. So it's just a stupid jacket. I am so sure I went through all that. I thought it was like, I don't know. I thought it was something else, but whatever. There's my over 40s. They know what's going on right now. <laughs> oh, you look it up. This is the over 40 gang sign right here, man. <laughs> By the way, if you're under 30, I don't have time to explain what just happened. <laughs> People under 30, what is going on? Is, is that a flash drive? This guy is stupid. Here's the numbers on the jacket. I'll show you guys. Boom. There's the members only jacket. It has like the little tag there and then the epaulets, I think. Why did you take a picture? You know what? I can't even say anything because if I didn't pick up after my kids, this is how Mikasa would be. Mikasa is Sukasa. All right, guys. I hope you thought it was funny. Um, I'll see you guys later. Yeah, I don't know. I might just go rainbow hair. I'm not used to having it this like this without it being blue or aquamarine or different colors. We shall see. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.